By default, the start menu layout most likely is not set up the way you would like it. Fortunately, the start menu is highly customizable. I'll show you some steps you can take to set the start menu up in a way that works for you, making it more functional and personal. Now my start menu is pretty much set up the way I like it, but let's take a look at pinning task that you would want to see on your start menu. Here I have my office apps, but I am missing my publisher. I'm going to scroll down to the P's and find my publisher app. I'm going to right click on it and I want to pin to the start. Now notice it throws it down here at the bottom, so I'm simply going to click hold and drag it up here towards the top in the grouping that I want. I can also pin things that are just sitting on my desktop. I recently updated an application, so I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to pin to the start. Now if I go back to my start menu, I see it right down here. And again, I'm just going to click, hold, and drag it to a group that I've already set up. Now let's take a look at resizing tiles. So my PowerPoint and my publisher tiles are bigger than these others here, and I like them tiny. So I'm going to right click again on this tile. I'm going to resize, and I'm going to choose small. And I'm going to do the same for my publisher. Now if I come down here, I have my calculator, calendar, and camera apps, and I don't have a need for my camera app. So I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to unpin from the start, and that disappears. Now, If I scroll down a little bit, you notice I have a weather app. So let's talk about live tile updates. What are live tiles? Well, it's when you see that animated feature of a tile. Basically, Live Tiles gives you a glance at an app without you having to open it. So for my weather, if I want to glance at the weather and I don't necessarily want to click on this to open it, I want to turn on Live Tiles. So I right click, go to More, turn Live Tile on. Now I could actually see what the temperature is without having to open up this application. I can also create groups, and you've noticed maybe that I already have some group names. Here's my Office 2019, here's my video graphics, my utilities, and I want to give my calculator and my calendar a group name also. So if I just hover my mouse right above these tiles, I see that it says Name Group. So I'm going to click on that, and I will call these Accessories. This is looking a lot better now, more personalized for the way that I use my start menu. Now, one other thing that you can do is you can actually put tiles into folders. So let's say here's my Python grouping, and I just want to make that one folder. All you have to do is take one tile and drop it on top of another tile. Here is my folder. And now I can just click and drag other applications to put into that folder. So now I can collapse or expand that folder, and I can give it a folder name. I'm just going to call the folder name the same as my group name. And now when I collapse it, that my folder is now called Python. When I click on it, it expands, and I can see it down here. If I want to remove these from a folder, then with the folder expanded, I can just click and drag those icons out of the folder and back to where I want them. And notice now that the folder is gone and I just have my apps back under my grouping. One last thing that we can do, and depending on the size of your start menu, how many applications you have, you can resize. I can make this wider. I can make it shorter or taller. You just place your, your mouse cursor over the border, either at the top or the side, and you get a two-sided arrow. So that just lets me resize this the way that I want it. 
Okay, and that's how you organize your start menu. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos.